Welcome back. For our sixth section in this React testing series, let's learn how to test components wrapped in a provider and how to test custom React hooks. Let's begin with testing providers in this video. To help us understand the concept, I have set up some code behind the scenes. In fact, there is quite a bit of code, so I will go over this relatively slow. The code is present in the GitHub repo, so feel free to copy that over at the end of this video. For this example, we will be using the theme provider from Material UI. If you're new to Material UI, it is a component library for React apps. The first thing I've done is installed the package. Click on get started, installation, and then copy paste either the npm or yarn command in the terminal. Step two, within the source folder, I've created a folder called providers. Within the folder, I've created a file called app providers. Within the file, I've imported create theme function from MUI to create a dark theme palette. In the app providers component JSX, we have the theme provider wrapper with theme prop set to the dark theme we have created. And we also invoke the CSS baseline component from MUI, which applies a few color defaults with the dark mode and we render the children. At the moment, we just have a theme provider, but the intention here is to add any provider you may have in your application. For example, the provider component from Redux or your own custom auth provider, hence the name app providers. In app.tsx, I have imported app providers at the top and wrapped the JSX with the same. Finally, within the components folder, I've created a folder called MUI. Within the folder, I've created a file called muimode.tsx. The idea with this component is to print whether the app is in dark mode or light mode. For that, we import the use theme function from MUI, call the function within the component and access theme.palette.mode followed by the word mode. So this would print dark mode or light mode as the text. We use the typography component as an h1 tag to render that text. If we include this component in app.tsx and head to the browser, we should see the background color in black and the text in white. Dark mode is the text and our component works as expected. Back in app providers, if I change mode to light, you can see the colors are inverted and the text reads light mode. I'll switch it back to dark as we want our app to have a dark mode by default. Our goal is now to test this MUI mode component. We're going to begin by creating the test file. MUI mode.test.tsx. At the top, we make the necessary imports. Import, render, and screen from React testing library and import the MUI mode component. Next, we add a describe block. Within the function, we add a test. The name is renders text correctly. And the second argument is a function. Within the function, we render the component. Next, we get hold of the heading element that renders the text. Since our mode is dark by default, we expect the heading text to have text content dark mode. If we save the file and run yarn test, 
we see that the test fails. Expected element to have text content dark mode but received light mode. Now why is this happening? Well this is because our individual MUI mode component in our test environment does not have app providers as the wrapper component. App providers is present in app.tsx but we are not rendering app.tsx. We are rendering only MUI mode. So how do we test this component that is wrapped in a provider? Well, React testing library provides a wrapper option when rendering. So on the render function, add a second argument, which is an object. Here, specify a property called wrapper and set it to app providers. Make sure to import it at the top. Now what this does is wrap the MUI mode component with app providers before rendering. If I now save the file, our test passes. But if you think about it, in a practical application, we want almost every component to be wrapped with the theme provider, which means something like app providers is necessary for every test you write in your app. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to specify the wrapper option once for every test in the app? Well, it definitely would. So let me show you how to do that in the next video. But before we proceed, let me quickly summarize what we've learned in this video. We learned that sometimes components need a context provider to work as expected. When it comes to testing such components, we can rely on the wrapper option that can be passed into the render function. We specify our provider as its value, which will allow us to test the individual component without having to rely on the entire component tree where the context provider is present. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.